Former Worcester Academy basketball standout Daryl Reynolds helped Villanova win a national championship earlier this week. His former coach at Worcester Academy, Jamie Sullivan, couldn't be any happier for or prouder of Reynolds. During the tournament, watching the run, um, obviously making the Final Four, and then obviously winning the championship, we couldn't be prouder. Tremendous kid. Um, we had a dunk contest here, right behind me, and um, Daryl was obviously hands down the best dunker. He grabbed one of the sixth graders out of the out of the gym and stuck him underneath the basket, and everybody thought he was going to jump over the sixth grader to dunk the basketball. Daryl ran behind him, lifted the sixth grader up, gave the ball to the sixth grader, and had the sixth grader dunk the basketball. Um, just an unbelievable kid. Um, great on our campus. Daryl visits Worcester two or three times a summer. Loves Worcester, um, loves Worcester Academy, and I can't wait to see him hopefully late in April. Worcester Academy has a rich basketball tradition with former players going on to great heights in college and the NBA. But during Jamie Sullivan's 18 years on campus, they've never had a player go on to win a national championship. Um, the tradition of Worcester Academy basketball, not a lot of Worcester people know about it, but with Rick Carlisle, Mike Malone, two NBA coaches, then you have Donnie Nelson Jr., um, who's the general manager of the Mavericks. You have Mo Cassera and, and all these people that are associated, Jarrett Jack and Craig Smith that played in the NBA. We haven't had a national champion here um, in my 18 years. So for us to have it with Daryl Reynolds, for us to be able to, um, you know, have Daryl come back to the school. We're going to, you know, have signed jerseys and have all this um, memorabilia from the national championship. Our alumnus and the people that are associated with the school um, were just so excited to be able to watch him, um, watch him grow here, but watch him grow over the last three years at Villanova as well. What a great run for Daryl Reynolds and for Worcester Academy as well, leading Nova to the national championship. Reynolds played 10 minutes against North Carolina in that national title game. The Auburn baseball team won the Division II District Championship last year, and the Rockets know every single time they take the diamond this season, they'll have the target on their back. Um, obviously, being district champs, we want to repeat, and people know that, and they're going to try to knock us down, but we're feeling confident with ourselves. we got a good team this year. We're going to take it game by game, and we're going to see how the season goes. Yeah, I do believe that everybody's coming after us. We're going to be facing everybody's ace, but that's just better because we want to see everybody's best. Yeah, I mean, we know teams are going to be hunting for us. Uh, we know that we need to not look overlook any team. Uh, just got to take it game by game. Um, just got to win the games we can, get in the playoffs, and see what happens. And Auburn is hoping that they will be able to play on Monday on their home field. We'll see if we can get some drying this weekend, even though it's turf. Still, you got to get the infield ready. All right, the WPI softball team has started strong, and the engineers are pleased about that good start. But they're focused on the finish. They want to be playing their best softball of the year come playoff time. I think it's all about peaking at the right time. So we try to train our kids um, to really, you know, we give them enough rest in the beginning of the season so hopefully they can peak um, when it's becoming most important toward New Mac playoffs, winning New Mac games in order to get to the New Mac playoffs and so on and so forth. Um, I think we train really hard and we know when to taper off. We know when to push them a little bit harder. And I think that's what's been key for us over the past couple years on top of having a pitching staff. So we don't have um, just one or two pitchers that pitch. We have four, which is nice to spread that, spread that a little bit throughout so they're not as tired the whole year. Yeah, I mean, there's always something to improve on. I mean, you can always get 1% better each day. And so after every game and or practice, coach wants us to reflect on what we've done well and what we could do better. And that's just what we do this season. We're off to a great start, and we're just hoping we can coast in an upward spiral so that at the end of the season, we're in our peaking position. All right, so there you go. WPI looking very good early this season, looking very strong as well. And coming off a tremendous year a year ago when that freshman class powered by Amabini and Kelsey Saucier and the, these local products uh, led them to great heights and to new heights too. Last year they had the best season that they've had in program history and this year obviously the sights and the bars set even a little bit higher. I'll tell you what, Worcester Academy continues to produce unbelievable basketball players. I'm not quite at the level that they were in the early 2000s, but still impressive nonetheless. And for a guy to go on and then win a national championship, kudos to Jamie Sullivan yeah. and those guys for getting him ready to be able to step in and produce. Yeah, and even Jimmy even talked about that when he came to Worcester Academy as a postgraduate, how uh, the structure helped him. It helped him in the classroom. Not only just they worked with him as a basketball player, but they worked with him as a person. How are you going to better yourself as a student and a person? Great kid. Everyone up there raves about him. But as you mentioned, though, you look at that history. I mean, now you have a national champion coming back from Villanova, and you look at those, those you know, Sammy Kaplan teams that had yeah. 
Jared Jack and Craig Smith and Brendan Winters and Daryl Pegram <laughs> and Wes Wardrop and, and these guys all, I mean, one year, nine Division I players in the senior and junior class. That was unbelievable. And Jamie's right. Most people in Worcester, even of the great hoop fans, it's like the best kept secret. They don't even know they exist. It's unbelievable, too, when you think about high school basketball. Normally, when you have one or two uh, in a very rare situation, Division I players on a team, right. the whole gym's kind of eyes are on them. They have Division I guys coming off the bench. Oh, it's unbelievable. It is, it is unreal. You think of like Mike Bradley and the stir that created and another Villanova alum, Bradley. But when he was playing at Burncoat, and you think, okay, here's a big time Division I player. And like you said, they had nine of them. Nine of them on one team. I mean, just incredible. Incredible talent. And again, Hats off to Jamie Sullivan. He's done such a great job. And, you know, all the guys before him, too. Mo Cacera kind of started that whole uh, influx of bringing in those, those really top, talented kids. And still as impressive as those Worcester Academy teams are, still the most talented team he's ever coached. Fifth grade friendly house all-stars back bitty, in 1990. The basketball, Jamie no Sullivan. <laughs> you, a couple of the Phillips kids. Really?